We are working on page 348, Control Tab Formatting. We're on the inside spread. In particular, we're going to be looking at the third panel, which is page 6. Let's go in and zoom into this area so that we can really pay attention to how the formatting is going to be worked. Let's go and pick up our Type tool, go to Type, and show hidden characters so we can watch what's happening with the tab stops. Put an insertion point in the 14 night adventure line and we're going to change the spacing after to zero. Now we'll go up to type and show our tab stops. There's our tabs and we're going to select the align to decimal and just click in the bar to put in a tab stop. We're going to precisely place that at three and an eighth inch. We would like to have a leader in there so we're going to put in a period and a space and hit enter to confirm that. Now that we have our formatting set we're going to go into our paragraph styles panel and alt click on the create new style to open up the dialog box so that we can name that immediately as Priceline. Make sure that the apply style to selection is checked and hit enter. Now we can apply that style to the next three lines and in the next line below that we're going to apply the disclaimer copy to that selection. Moving over to the box that we had on our pasteboard and how this looks right now is not going to be important. We're going to select all of the prices, apply price line to that and I know it's not going to look right but at this point again it doesn't matter and in the prices include we're going to apply the disclaimer copy to that. You can close your tabs and get that out of the way. Zoom out so that you can see what's going on and release from the type tool as you're doing that. What we're going to do next is apply conditional text. We're going to make a version of this file for East Coast and a version for the West Coast. So we're going to be using what's called conditional text. If we go to Window and under Type and Tables, you will find conditional text. Click the New Condition button at the bottom of the panel and Condition 1 we're going to name East Coast Text and click OK. Now we're going to highlight with our text tool the packages from New York and all the way down through the paragraph return at the end of JFK International Airport and we're going to click the East Coast text in the conditional text panel. So let's put an insertion point move our insertion point to the end and just take a look at what the text is. You're going to see that there is now a blue line under all of that text. Click the eye icon to hide that text and you'll see that the stuff that was on the, the side has now moved into its place. We're going to create another condition and call it West Coast text. <laughs> and select OK. Highlight all of this text all the way through the end and select West Coast Text and you'll see now you have a red line indicating that that is the text for the West Coast packages. In the conditional text menu you can now choose to hide that. Save your file at this point. With none of the text selected, you have a blank spot, but you can bring either one of those in simply by showing or hiding. We're going to do some additional formatting, so let's zoom out so we can see all of the text 
on the panel and we can move our conditional text box out of the way. We're going to double click the subheading style with nothing selected so make sure you have nothing selected on the pasteboard or in your file. And we're going to go to paragraph shading. Make sure that the preview is selected and check the shading box. Open the color menu and choose the corporate blue swatch and change the tint to 15%. Unlink the offset fields and you can see that there it's not lined up exactly right. We're going to change the top offset to 0 0.04, so 4 one hundredths of an inch. And you'll see that that has now cleared up the spacing. You can then click OK to accept that and return to the layout. Go to Type and you can then hide your hidden characters. Still working on the inside spread and with nothing selected we're going to go to File, Place so that we can place in the images in the four boxes. We want to select the cave, hold your control key, select the clownfish, the koala, and the opera house. Deselect the show import options if it's checked and click open to load the four images. Place them in each of the four empty frames. With the left image selected, open the links panel and look at the information that's available in the bottom of the panel. Then go up to Object, Captions, Caption Setup. In the dialog box under Metadata, you're going to select Title. In the alignment, you're going to choose below image. You're going to change the offset field to 0 0.0625. Choose caption for the paragraph style and check the group caption with image and then select OK. Now with that left image still selected, Go back up to Object, back to Captions, and Generate Live Caption. Select the other three images. Go to Object, Captions, Generate Live Caption. There is an error at the bottom that shows that the clownfish does not have a metadata title attached to it. This is a problem. So we're going to click inside to select the image inside the frame. Go to File, select Place, replace selected item with the barrier reef tiff and when that is replaced, because we had already applied that formatting, we automatically have the title placed in. Now let's do a little cleaning up and getting things ready to send to a printer. First of all, we can pick up that empty text box and get rid of that. It's not needed anymore. Let's go to Type, Text Variables, and we're going to Define. We need to change our variables to reflect the new status. 
we're going to select the progress status and we're going to edit and change the text from work in progress now to finished. Remember to leave that uh, caret E and now we can return to the layout. In our conditional text we want to show the East Coast text. With our West Coast text hidden we're going to go to File and Export. So we're going to name this Aussie Fold East and we'll save this not as interactive but we'll save this as a print document. Select Save, select Press Quality. We want to export this as spreads not pages. Select View PDF after exporting and for the viewing area choose Fit Page. Under Marks and Bleeds we want to turn on the crop marks with an offset of an eighth of an inch. We want to use the document bleed settings and include the slug area. We can save this preset now as Australia brochure and then export. Reviewing this in your PDF file, you will see the bleeds, the slugs. You'll see that the project status has been changed to finish. And here you have the New York packages. Now you can close that. And now we will hide the East Coast text and put out the West Coast text. Again, go to Export. This one is going to be Aussie Fold. West, Save. We're using the Australia brochure PDF preset and because we've already set the parameters for that we can export and review and you'll see you now have the information from Los Angeles. I would like to see both PDFs if you have had no issues with this project. If you have had any amount of even the smallest issue, I want to see both the PDFs as well as the InDesign file. I don't need to have you package this. I can link to all of my own files. I would like to see the issues that you've had.